welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my entryway clean and refresh. Um, this is the space right off of our garage area. So right here is my son's bedroom or this is an office space that we made a bedroom. This is the uh, pantry space. This is the door that goes to the attic, the laundry room, our bedroom. So you can see here, we just have like the dog bowl. We have kind of our drop off zone, backpacks, uh, jujitsu stuff. Um, and then we put of our sh all of our shoes down here at the bottom. So it's not like a really super pretty area. It's kind of boring, but I wanted to kind of jazz it up a little bit. It's taken a little bit of a beating in here. Like I said, this is the area off of our garage and you can see like there's popsicle that's dripped down the wall. Um, there's just nicks and scratches all over the baseboard. So I really wanted to do something um, just to spruce this up in here. So I've got some paint that's in the garage that we're gonna pull out and just jazz this little area up a little bit. And I've always wanted to paint a door on the inside of my home. So I just thought this would be the perfect place to do it. It's it's not like slapping you in the face when you walk in the door, but it's just going to add a little pop of color in here. And I didn't really want to have to go out and buy anything crazy for one door. So I'm just reusing this paint that I had um, used on the board and batten in my bedroom. It's the uh, Magnolia Home Paint. And I think it's like winter solstice or something like that. I can't really remember, but it's just the same blue that I used on my board and batten. If you saw my bedroom makeover. And I really love the color, so that'd be perfect. And then this is just door and trim paint that I grabbed from Walmart. And I just always get this when I wanna like freshen up my trim. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get started in here. I need to wash the floors really bad. You can see they're pretty dirty. So we're gonna get all of it taken care of in here today. It's not gonna be some magical like Pinterest worthy project, but it's just something I've been wanting to do. So we're gonna get started on that today. And I'm just gonna start with disinfecting and cleaning this door and the baseboards because like I said, they were pretty bad. Kids go in and out of this door. Lots of fingerprints, lots of dirt, lots of melted popsicle down the wall, obviously. <laughs> So we're going to get started cleaning and then we're going to get working on painting this door. I'm really excited about it. I really think it's going to turn out pretty and just be a perfect little pop of color here in this space. decided to pull out my little cleaning toothbrush just to get in those little crevices since I am going to be repainting these baseboards. I wanted to make sure they were really good and clean and that I'm not painting over dust. So you can see here there actually was a good bit of it that came off. It was pretty gross but it really did the job. Um, if I had one of those like little mini spin brushes I would totally just use this but hey this works for now.
I'm gonna get started painting the door now that everything is cleaned and ready for painting. And I'm just using a short trim angled brush. I I'm not like a professional painter or anything, so I don't really know if that's what you're supposed to use. Um, I don't really like the roller um, just because I don't like the texture that it leaves on the door. I want it to look smooth. So this just seems to be the best way to get that look. And I feel like it's easier for me to get in those little um, corner areas. And you can see here, I'm kind of cutting outside of that trim piece outside of the window, but I haven't really decided yet if I'm going to paint that or not, or if I want to leave it white. Um, I don't know. It's just the further I go along, the more I don't like it. So I think I am going to end up painting that piece too, which is going to be a little bit more difficult. I don't really trust myself a lot to not touch the window, um, but this does have a tent that I purchased from Lowe's. I just kind of cut it out to fit the window um, just because this sees right into our bedroom door and I don't really like that. But I think I'm actually going to take that off too because I don't like the way it looks with the blue door and maybe find something to put in front of the door. Maybe like a hanging basket or I don't know, maybe find another tent, like a foggy tent or something. I'm not really sure yet, but we're going to get creative today. Um, but this is where we're getting started. So if you're one of those people who enjoys watching paint dry, literally, <laughs> this portion of the video is for you. I've always um, just thought watching painting or actual like painting the process is very like relaxing and satisfying and therapeutic all at the same time. So if you're like me and you enjoy that, I hope you enjoy um, this painting process. <laughs> So once it was dry, I did decide I did not like that white trim piece. It looks kind of cheesy to me. <laughs> so I just took a really tiny detail brush and just tried to make as smooth strokes as possible. And I seem to do pretty well, um, even though I do have rheumatoid arthritis and sometimes little things like this can kind of aggravate it. I usually have a really good like steady hand. I've always enjoyed doing um, the cutting in process of painting. Um, but this seemed to work really well, so I think I like it a whole lot better now that I have um, covered up that white. And of course, I had a little <laughs> peeker over here. <laughs> he really loved the door. He kept coming up to me and go, Mama, I love my blue door. I love my blue door. And now he's blowing kisses at you guys. So, of course, it wouldn't be a busy little blondies video without my little blondies popping in at least a couple of shots but here's what it looks like now that it's completely done i really really love it and think it's going to be so pretty going in and out of this door um and seeing this door when we wake up in the morning just brings me a lot of joy you're gone now will you come me back yeah i know that yeah i know that you're the traveling And now that the door looks nice and new, we're going to touch up this baseboard and trim area and get it looking new as well. I hope it means that you come home to me once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart.
now that the trim is all painted and dried, I am going to vacuum up this area, get it really good and mopped. I found this jute rug at Walmart. I didn't go in planning to buy it, but I knew I needed to find some kind of rug or something for this space because it echoes um, really loud. And because my son's room is right here, I try not to make as much noise in here, um, but I'm always telling the kids to be quiet because it echoes so bad. So I went in looking for one rug and I really didn't find exactly what I wanted um, based on what I saw online. And so it was gonna settle for something. And then I happened to go down the middle aisle and they had all of their jute rugs on sale. Um, actually, they were on clearance. So I, I got it for only $50. And if you know, um, jute rugs are kind of expensive. So $50 for a five by seven is awesome. <laughs> and I really like the way it looked. I felt like it fit my style a little bit better than what I had originally had chosen. So um, we're going to get this all good and cleaned up and then get that rug put down. deal on these set of two baskets from Hobby Lobby. They were $23. I saw it online and I was thinking this is like too good to be true for hanging baskets because they're pretty pricey. Um, but they were $23 and then I got it 50% off. So that was a really, really good deal. I was excited about that. I think it's going to be perfect to kind of shield the view on that garage door. And then I went into Walmart and found some fairly priced florals. I really just want it to look like I threw some wildflowers in there, if that makes sense. Um, kind of make a spray there and just add more of, you know, like I said, a shield to whoever is coming into that front door um, just to add a little camouflage there. So um, I'm going to just use like a simple command hook. I usually have some 
extras lying around. I want to make sure that I have the right one that's going to support the weight, but I'm going to get the door good and cleaned off. I'm just using some method glass cleaner to clean the front and the back of the door. Now that I've gotten that tent taken off, I want to make sure my command hook is going to stick. Back we would carry on then. we do anything for what we started. But this time we could break. And now I'm just gonna assemble all of my florals here in the basket. I think I've got it hung exactly where I want it to allow it to hang some and then still have a little bit of open space around the door, but I do want it to camouflage and somebody not to walk in our garage and just be able to look straight in our bedroom. Um, it's just kind of creepy to me. <laughs> so I think this is gonna be perfect here on the door. Just add another little fun pop of color and like I said, um, you know, I wanted to kind of jazz it up a little bit in here. I know it's kind of simple and plain. There's not a lot in here, but I kind of like it that way because it is a space that gets cluttered very easily. So the less stuff in here, the better. So I think this is kind of a nice little homey touch in here. And I think it's going to make everything look really pretty and just kind of put together. I felt like this room wasn't completely put together. I really really want to do um, shiplap on this back wall where I have um, the organizing system and the hooks. I really think that'll make it look more homey and kind of cozy in here. So another project for another day, but this is where we're gonna end the video. Um, just gonna finish up these florals and get them hung up. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope that you like what you see. I hope that gives you just a little bit of encouragement and motivation to just spruce up some of those little areas in your home. Don't be afraid to pull out some paint and paint a door, paint a wall, just add a little bit of color to your rooms. I like things pretty neutral, but I do enjoy a pop-up color too. So um, I really think this was fun. I enjoyed doing it and it really didn't take a whole lot of time and effort. And of course it was something I could do with my little ones running around. So this is the final look of how it turned out. I really, really love it. I think it's so pretty and so fun. And like I said, just adds a little bit of joy to this room when we come in and out this door in our garage space. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you always so much for watching each video, for coming back to my channel. You guys are always such a blessing and encouragement to me. And I am just so thankful for you all. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.